Thanks for joining me today on Fiddle Quick Fiddle Lessons. That is a fun tune called Pig Ankle Rag. If you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more, please like this, subscribe, and support me on Patreon and help keep the fiddling going. Today I'm playing one of my favorites. This is called Pig Ankle Rag. So let's go through the tune and then I'll show you some ideas for improvising because improvising is really where it's the most fun. This tune is in the key of D, but it starts out with an A7 arpeggio. The notes for an A7 arpeggio are A, C sharp, E, and G. And basically we're going to do that going down, descending. It starts with an A to an F sharp, and then G, E, C sharp, and A. So you play it, and you do it twice. Next, we have a four note pattern. So that's A, B, A, D, and we do that four times. One, two, three, four, and that's your first phrase. Then you do it again. So this is one of those tunes that swings. And if you keep going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, you're going to work your way to the tip. So find places to slur. Just find some cool places to put a slur in. It's always nice to do a down bow on the third note of a group of four and then slur the next three. Like that. All right, so now the ending is B, D, F sharp, A, B, A, F sharp. So I'll do that again. Now I dress that up quite a bit, but that's what the original is. And then, so that's E, F sharp, back to E, A, F sharp, E, D. So let's do that ending again. We have B, D, F sharp, a, B, A, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, E. I can't keep up with myself. So let's do that ending again. We have. Okay. Here's the B part. Some versions I've heard people repeat that section and in other versions, People go right on to the next part. The chord progression is the same either way, so it doesn't matter. You just decide whether you want to play every part twice or if you want to play every part once. Here's the next part. So we start out with a C sharp and a B going down. And then we have a three note pattern again. A, B, C. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then you can end with a B and A. One, two, three, four. I played it, I just ended that differently, but it's okay. Then we have another three note pattern.
So that's A, B, and D played four times. One, two, three, four, and then I end it with a B and an A. Back to the A pattern. Back to the D. And then the same ending we had earlier. When I dress this one up, I like to play the first part pretty normal, pretty standard. Nice slide there from the C natural to the C sharp. Now over this D chord, I'll kind of play some extra things, kind of go off of the melody a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm improvising with a D chord, which is D, F sharp, and A. So I'm making my main notes, my first note of the measure, be a chord tone, and then in between there, I'm kind of uh, working off the D major scale. So I might go, or something along those lines. And then I'm back to the beginning part again. I always like to throw that triplet in. You can also play a double stop through there. And a D, open D here. That open A and open E together sound great. And then at the end, it's a G chord. G, B, D are the notes in a G chord. I like to go B up to that B. You could do anything along those lines. And then I actually go down to the D there. I just make sure I land on the D at the end. The next part is that A chord again. So A, C sharp, and E is just playing that. Sometimes I'll play triplets. Or you can go backwards. You could play over the D, next chord, it is the Sometimes I like to change the rhythm. Be creative. Have fun thinking of different things you can do with that. And then we have that same ending. Right there, I did an F sharp to F natural slide at the end. Kind of like that. I don't think I've ever played that before, but I liked it. So there are some ideas for you to improvise, dress it up, have some fun with it. It's a lot of fun to just make up some ideas. So let's play together a couple of times and then I'll leave the backing track going so you can come up with your own ideas. Two, three, four.
playing along. We'll see you next time. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please support me on Patreon and help keep the fiddling going.